International News Today, July 16, 2019 Welcome to the Bit Media International News Today with the latest world news headlines and stories. To keep updated with the latest news and insights, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Now for the news. Charlottesville neo-Nazi gets second life sentence for 2017 attack. A Virginia state judge on Monday sentenced a self-professed neo-Nazi to a second life prison term for killing a demonstrator when he drove his car into a crowd protesting against white supremacists in Charlottesville two years ago. Charlottesville Circuit Court Judge Richard Moore sentenced 22-year-old James Alex Fields Jr. to life plus 419 years, as recommended by the jury that found him guilty last December of murder, plus eight counts of malicious wounding and a hit-and-run offense. Mr. Field you deserve the sentence the jury gave. What you did was an act of terror, Moore said. Trump quit Iran nuke deal to spite Obama. U.S. President Donald Trump pulled out of the Iran nuclear pact to spite Barack Obama, according to Britain's Mail on Sunday, citing the former U.K. ambassador to Washington. In the May 2018 cable published by the Mail on Sunday, British Ambassador Kim Derrock called Trump's decision to abandon the International Accord an act of diplomatic vandalism. Seemingly for ideological and personality reasons because the pact was Obama's deal. Derrock wrote the memo, after then Foreign Secretary Boris Johnson, visited Washington in a failed attempt to persuade the United States not to abandon the 2015 nuclear agreement. The publication of the ambassador's unguarded views, meant for a small group of ministers and senior officials in London, cost him his job. Trump responded by calling Derrock very stupid, and a pompous fool in a Twitter fusillade, and the White House cut off contact with the British envoy. U.S., Russia to discuss nuclear arms limits in Geneva on Wednesday. Representatives from the United States and Russia are set to meet in Geneva on Wednesday to explore the concept of a new accord limiting nuclear arms that could eventually include China. Senior U.S. officials said on Monday. U.S. President Donald Trump has said that he would like to see a next-generation arms control deal with Russia and China to cover all types of nuclear weapons. He has broached the topic individually with Russian President Vladimir Putin and Chinese President Xi Jinping, including most recently at the G20 summit in Osaka last month. China is not party to nuclear arms pacts between the United States and Russia, and it is unclear how willing Beijing would be to be drawn into talks, said the officials who spoke to reporters on condition of anonymity. A good meeting would be some greater clarity about where the Russians see things going with the Chinese, one official said. China's foreign ministry reiterated that the country had no interest in joining such talks. Victims plead to judge, keep Epstein in jail. Two women, who say they are victims of sexual misconduct by American financier Jeffrey Epstein on Monday, urged a U.S. judge to keep him in jail while he awaits trial on charges of sex trafficking dozens of underage girls. He's a scary person, Courtney Wilde, one of the women, told U.S. District Judge Richard Berman in federal court in Manhattan. Wilde and another accuser, Annie Farmer, spoke at the end of a hearing in which prosecutors argued that Epstein, who is 66, posed an extraordinary risk of flight and danger to the community and must remain in jail. Epstein, who has pleaded not guilty, has asked to be allowed to live under house arrest, with an armed guard at his expense. In his mansion on Manhattan's Upper East Side which is valued at $77 million. The hedge fund manager had a social circle, that over the years has included Donald Trump before he became U.S. President, as well as former President Bill Clinton, and Britain's Prince Andrew. Luckiest scratch card player ever, wins $1 million jackpot.
a lottery player who said he has won money on 26 of his last 27 scratch-off tickets, had a streak culminate in a $1 million prize. Michael Strong who lives in Hawaii but has a home in North Carolina, told North Carolina education lottery officials he visited the Scotchman in Richlands and while in town to work on his house and decided to buy a $20 scratch-off ticket. I decided to play this game because $20 tickets are my lucky ticket, Strong said. I always win when I play them. I've won 26 out of the last $27 20 tickets I bought. Strong selected a $150 million cash explosion ticket. My friends were joking with me about my luck, Strong said. They said I should buy a ticket since I was back in town. So I took a break from the fence I was building, bought a ticket, and won $1 million. Strong said he plans to pay off his bills and make investments with his winnings. Thank you for listening to the Bit Media International World News today. To keep updated with the latest world news, subscribe and hit the bell notification. Until next time.